Good morning. Do you want to be able to give your Twitch chat the ability to ping your Pretzel Rocks players so that they can figure out what artists and track is playing while you're live? Sweet. Pretzel is my all-time favorite go-to platform when I'm looking to play music for my live stream. A feature that Pretzel has had that I've always thought has been a really great feature is the ability for Pretzel to post in your chat the artist name and the track name when a song is played. Now, it does this at the start of every song when you're using the free version of Pretzel. So if you have a little bit of a slower chat, not much going on, having a bot post every three minutes can be a little overbearing. That's why you should subscribe to Pretzel Premium for $14.99. However, when you upgrade to premium, it doesn't post in chat at all. I still wanted the ability for my community to ping the Pretzel API and figure out what song was playing in case that they heard something that they liked. A few years ago, I created the same exact video, but because Pretzel has evolved, uh, the API has changed, the old way doesn't work. So I'm gonna show you how to do the new way. Almost everything is the same, but the syntax of the command is different. So for this particular tutorial, you're just gonna need a Pretzel account, a Twitch bot, and one that uses an authenticated Twitch account that has permissions to post in your chat. I use Streamlabs chatbot, but this will most likely work for any bot. So Pretzel chatbot, you're gonna need your Twitch user ID, which I'm gonna show you how to get in a minute. It's a number, not your name. And now we can get started. So I have chatbot in the top left, I have Pretzel in the bottom left, and I have my Twitch chat on the right. If you look in the YouTube description, there is going to be link one and two. Link one is the website that shows you where you can get your Twitch user ID. So once you're at that site, put in your Twitch name and hit submit, and then it will return with this number right here. That's important, don't lose it. Link number two is gonna be the command that you are going to copy and paste into your bot. So now that you have the paste bin page ready to go, head over to your bot and we're gonna create a new command called exclamation point song. New. So exclamation point song. I don't want this command to cost any channel points. Uh, the usage is going to be in stream chat. I want the command to be on and the permissions to be everyone. If you find that people start spamming this command, you can always add a cooldown. I pretty much just leave it at zero. Come over to the paste bin page and you're gonna copy this line right here into the response. And then head back over to that Twitch ID lookup page grab your number, make sure you're not using my number, and then paste it where all these asterisks are right here. Hit submit, and that's done. Now to test, you just wanna bring up a chat window for your own channel, as you can see, I was working on this earlier, and if I type exclamation point song, it returns with, <laughs> it was taking a second there. And now you have the artist name, the track name, and a link to the track as well. All right, that's it, you're done. Stream safe, stream smart, and if you guys happen to see Sonic the Hedgehog, you be sure to let me know. <laughs> Dude, chat, if you're ever wondering, like, if you're ever wondering what is the reward system for being the most plateaued streamer on...